Hello again Morserino 32 fans. In case you didn't know, the latest update for the Morserino 32 is here, it's update 3, and uh, Willy has really outdone himself this time because now it's possible to have an internet QSO without any computer whatsoever. The Morserino 32 can connect directly to the internet, you can program in a target ISP and have a QSO with anyone at that ISP. Uh, now, setting up the uh, Wi-Fi functions on the uh, Morserino 32 can be a little bit tricky when you first come to it. A few people have expressed frustration and uh, Willie has brought out uh, various updates to deal with this, uh, to display the MAC address among other things. But uh, I thought we'd make a video today to show you how to uh, set up the Morserino and adjust the settings uh, in order for you to have an internet QSO, or at least test out that it is connecting properly. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is turn our Morserino 32 on, here it is, and you should see the update 3 there, I'm just going to adjust the focus, make sure it's all properly focused, there we go. <coughs> we're going to come out of the transceiver mode for the moment and we're going to go to the Wi-Fi functions. And uh, the first one we'll choose is configure Wi-Fi, we click here and it goes into the Wi-Fi configuration mode. Now in this mode, uh, you actually connect directly to the Morserino 32. This is the only time that you will connect directly to the Morserino 32. At all of the times, the Morserino will be part of your network. And as you see, it's connected there automatically. Now this can take some time. It doesn't always happen automatically. Um, I, if it does, then you'll just have to fiddle about, try restarting your computer, turn your Wi-Fi on and off, uh, wait, be patient, eventually it will connect. I've found that uh, having my computer in flight mode certainly helps uh, connecting when connecting directly to other things via Wi-Fi. So we're all nicely connected there. We need to go over to Google Chrome, open a browser, and we're going to put an ISP address in. It's uh, 192.168.4.1. There you go, very simple. Hit enter and you land straight on the Wi-Fi configuration page. Uh, now, as I said, at all other times, the Morserino 32 will be part of your home Wi-Fi network, just like your printer, your tablets, your mobile phone, and so on. And so you need to program the details of your Wi-Fi network into the Morserino 32 so that it can connect to your network. I use uh, the hotspot on my Android phone. I find this is very good for portable use, you know, so I can connect when I'm uh, out and about. I don't need to be at home. And the name of my network I've set to my call sign, OE6FEG. I'll put the uh, password in here. I've chosen Morserino32. Very simple. But now we have a third field where there only used to be two. There's now a third field. And here you can set the IP of the person you want to speak to. Um, now, Willie has been uh, very helpful. He's set up a server at his home, and I've got the information there. It's cq.morserino.info, and anyone can connect to this server and have a QSO, but mostly we do it just to uh, uh, make sure we are connecting to the internet. If you want to uh, do a local broadcast and just connect over your own network with someone else, of course, the instructions are here. Well, we submit this data and the Morserino will restart. There you go, it's all restarted. That's all you really need to do in terms of configuring the Morserino. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to again not go into transceiver just yet, I'm going to go to Wi-Fi functions once more, but this time I'm going to choose check Wi-Fi just to make sure that the Morserino 32 is actually connecting may take some time and it may come up not connected we'll just have to wait and see like I say patience is very important here and it says not connected and no Wi-Fi okay well we'll come out of that and we'll try once again let's see what happens 
we give it a second try. We might have to restart the Morzerino. It's, uh, as you can see, it's not you, it happens to all of us. And like I say, it's sometimes just a case of fiddling about. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch the Morzerino on and off, off and on. There you go, let's restart the Morzerino. And sometimes it can connect better after a fresh start. Come out of the transceiver. Back to check Wi-Fi. Let's see what happens. There we go. And as you can see, after a restart, it connected immediately. So the lesson there is stick with it. It will happen. It's not just you. OK, now we go into transceiver. As you can see, the old three, uh, the old two functions are there, the LoRa transceiver, the ICW transceiver, and the third function Willie's added is the Wi-Fi transceiver. So let's click here, see if it will start up. It says it's started. Now, uh, in order to contact the server, you have to send hi, and um, if you are successfully connected, the server will send hi back. So let's try that now. There you go, and it immediately replied with hi. Okay, so we could put a call out, you never know, someone might be about, I don't think they will be, but <laughs> it's early on a Sunday morning, but on a Monday morning, let's say we give it a go. I'm not really expecting any answer here, so uh, you do have to be patient, of course. Um, you should remember with all transceiver functions, uh, the um, your Morse code is sent in packets. It's not like a normal transmission, it's sending packets of data and uh, these all have to be decoded. So there is a slight delay, but it is possible to have a QSO here. Of course, the quality of that QSO will depend entirely on uh, the speed of your inter internet connection and so on and so on. Um, so, of course, like with any connection, there can be some problems, some missed characters and things like that. So uh, do be aware that uh, internet connection will be a factor here. So that's it. I hope you find uh, this video useful as ever and uh, I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.